The fate of an American aid worker is in question tonight. Kayla Mueller disappeared in Syria nearly two years ago, and the so-called Islamic State has been holding her hostage. Now the terror group claims the 26-year-old was killed in a Jordanian airstrike. The U.S. says there is no evidence to corroborate that claim. And unlike previous killings, the extremist did not provide photographic evidence of her death. This has her family holding out hope she's still alive. And as Arthi Pohl reports, today they made a direct plea to their daughter's captors. Hanging on to the possibility they'll be reunited. Kayla Mueller with her mother, Marsha, before the family's nightmare began. The 26-year-old was captured by ISIS in 2013 while volunteering in Syria. In Two years time, prior, she posted this video, sharing her strong desire to help those she believed were being persecuted. I reject the brutality and killing that the Syrian authorities are committing against the Syrian people. ISIS militants spread photos and a message through social media yesterday that Mueller was killed. They say she was the victim of an airstrike carried out by Jordan. But the U.S. government says there's no proof yet, giving Kayla's parents hope. In the past year, the family has had contact with ISIS, receiving proof of life last May and a ransom demand. Last night, Mueller's parents released a message directed at ISIS. You told us that you treated Kayla as your guest. As your guest, her safety and well-being remains your responsibility. Kayla's mother and I have been doing everything we can to get her released safely. At this time, we ask you who are holding Kayla to contact us privately. From the perspective of the U.S. government, from the perspective of the hostage family, um, I think it's uh, important to hold out hope. Uh, but if you're assessing the odds, uh, I think there's reason to be very concerned right now. This expert says it's and unlikely it airstrikes killed Kayla. He says it appears to be an attempt by ISIS to turn coalition forces against each other. ISIS has been much better at uh, getting people to uh, combine and fight rather than to divide and conquer their enemies. In this case, it's um, while it seems to be the intention, it certainly isn't having that effect. In Jordan, emotions are still raw after a pilot held captive by ISIS was burned alive. The outrage is fueling Jordan's fierce response. For a third straight day, Jordanian fighter jets struck the terror group's positions. U.S.-led coalition forces in Iraq carried out more than a dozen airstrikes against ISIS in the past 48 hours. Meanwhile, U.S. officials continue to investigate to see whether there's any validity to the claim made by ISIS or if there's a chance Kayla Mueller can still be saved.